Durban, that's where I'm using Neil from. Um, back up in Joburg, currently doing digital marketing, learning how to do that so that I can help other people to do that. And the more knowledge I get, the better. So I'm super stoked to be here because Sunil is one of the best and I'm really excited to tap into his knowledge. Thank you, Melanie. Who, uh, who's, who else is brave? Who wants to go? Fatima. Fatima will go. I know she's ever ready. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Hi, um, my name is Fatima Latif and I reside in Durban, currently on holiday for one month. <laughs> holiday in Durban? <laughs> Hey, How, holiday in Durban? No, I'm in Eastern Cape. <laughs> ah, okay, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So even though I'm on holiday, I am online. So that means a lot. <laughs> well done. Chapter um, tough. I have, um, yeah, I um, started with Sneel um, with regards to his social media courses um, way back. So I support him in all these things. And it's always a recap with regards to getting back into the groove of social media. What's new, what's trending, what is happening, how things are changing. So um, whenever he has these courses, I never ever try to stay away. It's always something new um, that other new um, participants are coming in with ideas as well. And Sunil assists and helps, which gives us the ones that have previously come on to his course, uh, new uh, questions that we have pr haven't previously answered. So uh, whoever is new on this, uh, please enjoy it. Um, yeah, Sunil, you're always you're always my my buddy to go to. You know that. <laughs> thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Fats. Listen, she did. You're I don't pay her. I don't pay her. I don't pay her. Uh, thank you, everybody, for taking the time. Thank you. Well done. Uh, so this is a beginner's social media uh, workshop we're doing today. Uh, if I disappear, it's a, it's because of power. I'm in Joburg. I'm traveling in Joburg, and we know the load shedding issues in SA. Uh, thank you so much for attending. And um, I am recording it. And I will say, if you guys need the recording, just WhatsApp me or email me and I'll send you the recording. So welcome, you guys can chat and you guys can uh, use the chat facility network, connect with each other and uh, we are, we're here to do business. End of the day, we're here to do business. We want more business, we want to make money. Uh, 2024 was a tough year. It was also an exciting year, it was rough, but it was exciting. We learned a lot of new stuff and uh, a lot of things has changed uh, on how we do business, especially on social media. So we're gonna start with beginners. Uh, today is social media and uh, tomorrow we're going to do some AI and content creation. And on Thursday, we're going to do Google. Google is a gold mine. You know, uh, Google is, inten uh, is intentional. So think about social media. Think about social media as uh, you are in the mall and you see a girl in the mall and you wink at her. So social media is that wink. You understand? It's to get attention. Social media is that wink. Winking at somebody, get the attention. Your website is the actual getting the actual phone number. So Social media is to get attention, to attract people to your website. So we're going to start with the basics today. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all of you. You guys can chat on the, in the chat, connect, network, and um, yeah, just keep it uh, clean. And um, let's, let's start. So what I'm going to do first is I need to mute you all. So um, a couple of years ago, we had some, uh, some guys who hijacked our, our Zoom. So now we have to put all these precautions in place. All right, guys, welcome. So, we, so we, I'm going to start with some basics on social, on social media, some basics about what's Facebook. Listen, guys, if you just focus your efforts on Facebook, you're going to be highly successful. So my theme going into 2024 is keep it simple social. Keep it simple social. Now, me, I come from a very, I come from a very technical background. I come from an engineering background. So my mind, naturally, it takes something that's simple and it complicates it. And I noticed that over the past couple of years, um, Businesses have been complicating their businesses. You know, business owners have been complicating their business. Just keep it simple. Keep it as simple as possible. End of the day, the goal is just to get a customer and to make co contact with them and offer them great outstanding service. So I only realized this in the past few months. Keep it simple social. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. 
So I'm going to share my screen and just give me a thumbs up using the icon if you can see my screen. Fatima, can you see my screen? Perfect. So I learned a very good trick. So one of my other clients taught me a trick with Zoom. If you in a meeting, if you are sharing your screen, on the top right, you'll see the three dots. Click on more and you can hide floating video panels. I learned that. So I'm very excited about that. Hide floating panels. So as I said to you, Facebook is the most popular platform. The main platforms to be using Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And you also got to be using TikTok. Now, TikTok is a, a very, it's a new platform, but it's very good for you to get engagement right now. So my advice to all of you, by the end of today, you need to be on TikTok. So, to start, so starting on Facebook, Facebook is a community network. So with, what's good about Facebook is that you can create communities. You can engage. There's so much more functionality when it comes to engaging. Uh, and we're going to go into the strategies now, uh, strategy, and I'm going to teach you what is engagement. So before you, you, before you start creating a business on Facebook, you must have a personal profile. So what is a personal profile? A personal profile is your name on Facebook. It's either Fatima, Melanie, Georgie. It is your personal profile. So before you create any, before you do anything on Facebook, you need to have a personal profile and you're going to go and add friends. So just to show you how you know the difference between a, a profile and a page. So this is my Facebook page, my business page. My business page has likes and followers. Then I've got my profile. My profile will tell me I've got friends. So I've got about 3,000 friends, right? So that's the difference between a profile and a, and a page. Then there's also something called a group. A group is a closed community. You can have a public group, or you can also have a you can have a public group, or you can have a private group. Now, I like to have a private group because I can engage and nurture my my community. So, when I go to Facebook, the first thing I do as soon as I log on to, on my computer is I see the feed. This is the feed. So, all the people that you follow, all the ads, you'll see them in the feed as you're going down. Now, if I want to post something on Facebook, I can click on what's on your mind. I can either do a live video, I can post a, vid, a, a photograph or a video, I can share, share what's on my mind, I can share what I'm feeling, I can even create galleries. Now, going live is very, popular, is very powerful because it, 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 it actually notifies your, your, all your friends that you're going live. So I would advise you guys to use live. So just to tell you guys, I am actually a very shy person. I am a lockdown level five person. I call myself the anti-social social media manager. And um, if I can do so, social media, anybody can use social media. So whatever I'm teaching you is I learned it the hard way. So just to go quickly through Facebook, if you want to post something, you just click on what's on your mind and you'll be able to post. You'll be able to choose. The, uh, one thing I noticed with people when they're posting on their friend, on their personal profile, they have this friends activated. Now, when you own a business, my advice to you is to change this audience to public. Change this to public because you want people to share your posts, right? So you can either type in something, you can either type in something uh, text-based, or you can upload a photo, or you can upload a video. The Media that gets the best engagement is video because video is audiovisual and it gets the most engagement. It also, there's something called a, a scroll stopper. It grabs your attention. So if you can post videos, post as many videos as possible. And remember what I said, you can go live as well. Now, that is how you post on social media. You can also use your app on your phone. You can also use your app on your phone, but I, if you're running a business, my advice to you is to mainly do your work on your computer. You need a, a computer or you need a tablet to be to be working on. If you only have a phone, it's fine. I'm not saying uh, go and get a laptop if you don't have a laptop. I'm saying you're going to get better results if you use a laptop. So this is my feed, my Facebook feed. As I scroll, I'll see the people that I follow and the memes and stuff. So just to just to give you a tip, 
a meme is like a motivational message on social media a meme is the currency of the internet of social media i'm sure many of you who are on whatsapp every single morning before you open your eye you get a whole bunch of messages uh motivational messages like good morning so th what it means is that those messages those those motivational messages are very powerful people love them so this is your feed so if my face is on the way on the top right just just hide my face or hide our faces on the top right there is this these icons you can see the picture your my profile picture if i click on my profile picture i'll be able to log into my the pages that i that i manage these these are the pages that i manage i'll be also be able to go into my profile then uh, this is my profile and in my profile i'm the face of my business so what i've done is i have use the cover image the cover image is very important put your think about your, your cover image as as your shopping mall you know the window of your shopping mall so the the most important thing that people see first when they come to your page is they're going to see your cover image your profile image as well your profile image needs to be professional if you're a business i would advise you have a professional uh, photograph uh, don't have a, a picture of you having a party uh, because you want to attract the right type of clients. What's powerful about Facebook is there's something called uh, stories, and a story is a vertical post. Now, what is a vertical post? Now, when you look at your cell phone, I want you to take your cell phone and look at your cell phone. Your cell phone is vertical. It's got it's called a white screen, but it's vertical. It goes up, and it's uh, it's called a vertical layout. So, a story is a vertical layout of a of a photo that uses the entire the entire screen your mobile screen use stories because think about a story as attracting somebody to view your posts or to check you out and think about a story as snackable bite size for uh, snackable bite size uh, content <clears throat> now uh, on the left hand side of your profile you can add who or what, you know what you do your position what you do all of that your previous work um you can upload you can either upload a story you can add a profile and then this is something that's very important if one thing you take from today is reels i would advise you all of you to start using reels so what is reels reels is a vertical video full screen video similar to tiktok so basically it is Facebook's version of TikTok. Right now, we're getting a lot of reach on TikTok. Like yesterday, I posted this, just to show you, yesterday I posted this video on TikTok, and within 24 hours, I've got over 16,000 views. So I post a lot of Reels because I get a lot of views on my Reels. So my advice to you is to post a lot of Reels. Now, if you want to create a business page, on the top right, you can see that there is this nine dots here, this menu. You click on this menu and you'll be able to create a post you'll be able to create a story you'll be able to create a reel you'll be able to create a life a, a, a life event you'll be able to create a page you can also create ads now in this less in this uh, sessions i'm not going to go into ads because that's beyond the scope of this uh these zoom calls so that is your your profile so remember what i said to you people are checking you out you need to have a personal profile and make sure that your profile is is complete and attractive. Now then you got your page, your company page. If you want to run ads, you need to have a business page. A business page is similar to a website, and this is where you can load all your pics, your past. Like I load a lot of my my previous workshops, my previous trainings. I add some encouragement. I encourage people. I uh, I uh, post my events and uh, the services that I offer. Also, what's good about having a, a profile, uh, sorry, a business page, is that you have a, people can rate you. Now, as you can see, I've got five star, I've got 55 reviews, and that is from actual customers. It's not my friends, it's actual customers. And my advice to you is, word of mouth is what's gonna sell you. Then next, we're gonna go into Instagram. Now, for your business, you need to have a pro business profile so you're going to go into your instagram so just to advise you instagram is a 
mobile app it's mainly on your mobile uh, so you need to use it mainly on your mobile but you can use an app on your on your computer called Meta Business Suite and I would advise you to get this Meta Business Suite it allows you to post directly onto directly onto Facebook and Instagram right and then uh, you'll see as you on on Instagram you'll see that sometimes you are you'll see a private account a private account is a personal account so you 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 are unable to have a private business account and what's good about having a business account is that they are, allow you to advertise as well as you get so much more stats so that's Instagram so to post onto Instagram you're going to use the Instagram app and you're going to be using or you can use Meta Business Suite. Now, what's good about Meta Business Suite, it allows you to schedule your content in advance. So you can create, you can batch create maybe maybe 10 posts and you can schedule them off to go automatically in the future using uh, Meta Business Suite. Uh, so also what's good with with Instagram is that you it, it's got stories. So if I click on the home tab on Instagram, uh, so most people use Instagram in their app on their phone. These are stories. So these are stories. Now a story exactly like how Facebook works. A story is a a story is a post that is short lived. It stays on there for 24 hours and it disappears after. So it disappears after 24 hours and it 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 has a duration of maybe between 10 to 15 seconds depending on what you're uploading. So what's good about uh, the stories it is small snackable content which you can in use stories to invite people to view your to view your feed so these are this is your feed whoever you follow will appear in here and you can engage with people you can also upload a video and a post using the create button but it's very basic you can only do a basic post uh, so your goal is to post have a mix of videos posts as well as reels so if i go into my profile you'll see that my mix of content i've got a mix of posts a mix of videos as well as reels uh, the reels the main reason i post reels is to get people to view my profile so some of my reels you see i posted they've got quite a quite a bit of views like look at this one uh, look at this one this one's got 92000 views uh, so my advice to you is to post as much reels as possible because people will come and view your profile and people ask me where do I get my content I'll tell you guys my secret I'll tell you guys where I get all this content I'll tell you guys tomorrow if you guys attend tomorrow I'll tell you where I get all this content so that is a that's Instagram and then there is um, LinkedIn so LinkedIn is a professional network so think of LinkedIn as being a business network it's highly highly powerful you got to engage with people same with instagram same with the with facebook you can create a company page so this is an example of my company page uh it's not a, it's not on the same level as facebook but there's so much more you can do it's a, it's very hard to it's very hard to grow your your linkedin business page you got to engage and post regularly so that is so how are you going to post on linkedin linkedin same you just go to the feed this is the feed and you just click on media and you can upload your media it's very very easy just click media upload and post very easy it's like having the that polaroid uh, camera point click and boom you know it's that's how easy social media is and it's even more easier on your on your phone M most of us are on our phones so so now i'm going to share my 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 slides and we're going to go through my slides. So this is a meme. Remember what I said? The meme is a meme is a the, the currency of social media. It is something that's funny, something that's real, uh, relatable with people. And if you if you follow me as a friend on Facebook, you'll notice, or even if you view my status on WhatsApp, you'll notice that I post a lot of memes. So I like this this uh, motivational quote. You can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. What that means is, just to explain to you, even though you are creating your content on your computer, 
95% of people are going to be viewing it on their mobile device. So what I'm, the model of this, of, this, of this screen means that you, you, should, you should be creating content on your computer. Remember your, that, your, that your mobile goes into your pocket. So you can't run your business successfully just by running social media on your mobile device. That's the model of this, of this uh, motivational quote. I'm going to share some stats with you. Uh, this is latest October 2023. The population is 8.6 8 billion and social media grew by, social media is 4.95 billion. Over 60% of the population is on social media. Social media grew by 3% while the population grew by 8%. Uh, I want to share this with you. This is the latest stats. South Africans spend the most time on the internet. South Africans spend nine hours nine and a half hours on the, on the internet so you got to make sure that you are posting regularly social media facebook google make sure that you they don't miss the opportunity right now the top websites visited social networks can you see that chat and messaging the main reason for using the internet stay in touch with friends and family and uh, keeping up to date so the world's most used platforms globally. Now, you know, we all got that Tani who comes and tells us, listen, I'm done with Facebook. I'm cut for all. And I'm deleting my profile. And then two weeks later, secretively, she comes back onto Facebook because Facebook is so addictive. So the world's most used platform is Facebook. Don't listen to people telling you Facebook is dying. Facebook is not dying. Think about every single cell phone that's been uh, sold. It comes with Facebook. You don't have to download Facebook. So Facebook is only growing. YouTube is also huge. Um, in South Africa, WhatsApp is the biggest platform. So all of you need to use WhatsApp and get a WhatsApp for convert your WhatsApp to WhatsApp for business. You can go to the App Store or you can go to the Play Store and get WhatsApp for business. It makes life so much more easier. So people have an average of seven apps on their phone, social media apps. They use they use Facebook, they use Twitter or X, they use uh, TikTok, they use Clubhouse, they use up to seven Snapchat. They spend two and a half hours a day on social media. And as you can see from this slide, social media use is only increasing. So these are the types. This is one of the most important things I can share with you today. Keep it simple. Make sure that your social, make sure that your content has a social effect to it. These are, these are the content that people want to see on social media. This is post-COVID. Films and funny videos, funny memes and uh, videos, how-to tutorials, repeats of classic shows, and sports. So if you create content around these themes, your content is going to go viral. This is a picture of a dog in a post. Um, I just want to show you the proof that pets behave the best on social media. If you can use pets in your post, your post will do very well. You get a lot of eyeballs, you get a lot of engagement. Just to prove you that the green bar is pets and the closest competitor is food and drink, which is the yellow bar, which means that pets overtook food and drink, yet we eat three meals or five meals a day. You know, some of us eat snack the whole day. So imagine that uh, uh, pets perform the best. Now I want you to think, now for those of you who live in a suburb, how many of you have been driving in a car and your neighbor's dog got out of the gate and started to bark at the car. How many of you stopped the car and barked at the dog? I'm sure none of you do that because you don't care because you're in a car and the dog is on the road. So what we got to do? That's us now. That's us. We are barking at our prospects, but our prospects are not listening to us because they are in the car. So we are in the wrong vehicle. So what we got to do is we got to get into the right vehicle with our prospects, and that is the mobile phone we got to get out in we got to get into the mobile phone for our customers to hear us so i like this um, this meme you miss 100% of the shots you don't take and uh, every day post every day on social media show up daily no matter how you feel get up dress up show up and never give up so why should we post regularly out of sight, out of mind. You gotta make sure that you are on top of mind with your prospects and your customers. So 
another reason why we post regularly this is a Prada bag who likes Prada would you appreciate the Prada from China Mall or would you appreciate the Prada from Prada Paris so my advice the purpose of posting regularly is to create the credibility authority and trust with your prospects you want your prospects to trust you so the power of social media don't adopt ostrich behavior make sure that you post take into consideration all the cultures everybody who's in who's going to be listening to you and seeing your post we all are familiar with the clicks incident we're familiar with the um, H&M incident uh, the disc game incident we know about all those the, the repercussions so make sure you understand the value of social media and if you post something wrong so what is engagement engagement is the most important rule of a uh, goal of social media it's when you post when you it's any reaction you have with your post it's a like it's a share it's a comment so think about it as communication uh, think about when you're talking to your friend or your or your spouse it's to communicate it's to engage it's to talk that's what engagement means on social media it's all these reactions it's comments it's shares it's tags oh, this is Facebook this is Instagram Instagram it's all the reactions it's the comments it's the saves as well as you can have up to 10 slides on Instagram use all 10 slides because when people swipe that that it means it's engaging and on on TikTok uh, these are all the engagements that you can engage with on TikTok. So we've all been to a playground. We've all been, this is the playground. We've been to a playground and imagine you are there to play and you see a lady selling her AMC pots or Tupperware or Neolife or uh, Herbalife. She's not going to be very successful. Some of them are successful, but she's not going to be suc very successful because people are not there to buy. People are there to play so think about social media as a playground so we need to make sure that our posts on social media are not too are not too salesy and not too and we're not going to be posting too much on uh you know business posts on social media so make sure that even though you you can do business on social media but make sure your posts are um, they, they 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 are a bit playful so there's a strategy that we that I came that I we all know kiss what it stands for I changed it I changed it to keep it simple social so do the test if your if your if your posts are not social don't post them so do not be intimidated by so by uh, intimidated nobody's gonna die make sure your posts are social and if you make a mistake or a boo-boo go back and delete your post or go back and edit your post so why is engagement so important because engagement is like a catalyst we've all been to a braai imagine you're trying to start the fire for, for, for a braai and while the fire is, while the, the coal is getting uh, burning up you take some paraffin or you take some petrol and throw it into the fire what happens it causes an explosion that's what engagement does to your social media it creates an explosion so you've got to make sure you engage with your create, in, create engaging posts so I want to challenge all of you who are on this call, network and connect with each other. Um, I'm challenging all of you. Social media is reciprocal. So don't just post and ghost. So many people, what they do is they go onto social media, they open the, the platform, they make a post and they close the platform. That's called ghost and post. So what you got to do this, do this daily. Five, five friends, business page, like and share their page. Uh, then uh, like, comment and share on their post leave them a review give them a shout out you'll see automatically within a few weeks your your post is your pages are going to get more engagement this is i'm challenging you guys so quickly what i'm going to go through now is the one page strategic plan we've got a one page strategic plan it's on one page you can create your social media strategy we're going to go through it quickly uh, the first one sorry where is it The first one is the marketing hook. Your marketing hook is your your USP. 
what's unique about your business uh, we use this uh, we use the story brand template but then and then we use this on our bio and our cover images so what's the unique selling proposition it is it is to differentiate you from your competition why must I buy from you instead of your closest competitor uh, competitor then your target audience the target audience is a segment of the market you serve everyone is not your client unless you are selling essentials even then everyone is still not your customer the purpose we have a target audience is because we want to create great marketing material and we know where to find them let's use an example of a baby car seat if i am a manufacturer for baby car seat who is my ideal buyer people will say moms but what if it's a mom of a 13 year old of a teen so you got to make sure your, your target audience is very very specific you need to make sure you're talking to the right audience you need to make sure that uh, you drill down so if I'm a manufacturer of baby car seats my target audience would be parents of toddlers with a car so it doesn't make sense for the parents to to buy a car seat if they don't have a car and it doesn't make sense for the parents to buy a, a car seat if they have grown-up kids so parents and grandparents of toddlers with a car um, I'm gonna skip this the next one is called business description this is your about text your mission your vision your goals put in your services your products as well as your any awards content themes content themes. so assign a theme to every month all content will in the specific month has the same theme so you, if we go into 2024 assign a theme to each month so all the posts that you post each month will have a specific theme like February is the month of love so all the posts will have a love theme hashtag strategy make sure you're using the right has hashtags you should have a mix of branded hashtags as well as uh, gender hashtags and and trending hashtags which platform so me personally I only focus on Facebook Instagram TikTok, WhatsApp LinkedIn uh, the reason I focus on those platforms is because the reach is ginormous my advice to you is if you, if you just focus on Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp you'll be highly successful keywords so basically a keyword is the same as a hashtag Basically, a hashtag is a keyword that's just joined together with a hash in front of it. So you can do a, some research to find your keywords. Frequency means how often you should be posting. So there's three main goals when it comes to social media. The first goal is brand awareness. You should be posting twice a week. The second goal is engagement. This is where you're talking to your customers and you're getting them to engage. You should be posting three or four times a week. The third goal is conversion, where you are you you asking your customers to buy uh, link short now I'm gonna ignore that goals so as I explained to you the three goals these are the three main goals of social media grow your brand which is awareness uh, engagement is the second goal where you're gonna turn customers into adv advocates what you mean is you can ask them questions open-ended questions and you're gonna drive the third goal is conversions where you ask them to buy so you got to follow this strategy the first goal if you got no followers you're gonna first grow your brand once you've got enough people to follow your brand, then you go to your second goal, which is engagement, is where you're going to get them to talk. And then your third goal is your conversion, is where you're going to ask them to, to buy from you. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip the rest because it's all technical stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip the rest. I'm going to stop there because my time is up. Zoom is going to kick me out in five minutes. guys we got two minutes and I hope you guys enjoyed that that lesson and uh, please join tomorrow for AI so tomorrow we're going to be doing AI and uh, content creation so I will continue tomorrow the rest of that, that strategy where I should, I've got a few more points tomorrow I will share the rest of it and we're going to do AI content creation so please do not miss tomorrow and I'm going to share a secret of where I get my content from tomorrow so guys Thank you so much for joining and um, go home and um, have a have a snack have a snack anyway uh, thank you so much guys i'll see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m thank you david thank you everyone bye everyone thank I'll you. See you guys. thanks guys bye -bye. i'll see you tomorrow
Thank you. All right. Cheers. Thanks, Good evening, everyone. everybody. Thanks, guys. Pleasure. Bye. Sunil, yes. Before you cut off, before you cut off, mm -hmm. um, just a few uh, questions. Do we ask the questions while you're talking or at the end? Uh, so tomorrow, let's have keep the questions for tomorrow. Let there's an issue with my Zoom, so I can, I've only got uh, 40 minutes today. But tomorrow I'll upgrade it and we can go continue. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. No just send so your, just would you prefer? Okay, would you prefer um, the com uh, questions while you're talking, so we or we should we take notes and then ask you at the end? Yeah, we can just ask asking. at the end. We'll just I'll I'll just give you ten minutes at the end tomorrow. Cool. Thanks everyone. All right, right. catch so up. Hi, Fatima. Hi, how Make are you? Make friends, guys. Make friends, guys. Make friends. <laughs> Make friends well, before it cuts off. Hi, <laughs> <Hello. laughs> No, well, listen, <laughs> if you can use a chat to make friends. You can make chat. You can use, let's see the chat. Let's okay. see if there's any questions to chat. I was just going to ask you if you could look at the questions, like copy them, copy and paste them. So you could probably answer those questions that are in the chat. Yeah, like no, no. Just they, go they, in they, and they, just they, highlight, just going yeah. to just go yeah. the chat and highlight everything and control C and control V on a Word document. And then you can just scan for the questions. Okay. All right. We'll do it. Well, yeah. Dude. Cool, Abigail. I'll send that to Abigail. I'll send that to you guys. Just WhatsApp me. Just and take my WhatsApp. Just take my WhatsApp number and WhatsApp me. Yeah, yeah that's the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. I thought. I thought. Did you win my? Did you win my prize, Arita? Did you win my prize? Yes. Yes, hey. I did. I was just going to talk to you <laughs> after this to say I won your prize. <laughs> ah, thanks, man. Thanks. Okay. That's awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Awesome. Please don't forget tomorrow. Please don't forget tomorrow. Good to see you, Nikki. Nicole, good to see you. Barbados. Hi, how are you? Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining. I'll chat to you guys on WhatsApp. Okay, okay cool. Good night. Thank you so Bye much. Everyone. Bye, Bye, Mar. Bye. Bye. Jeannie, good to see you, Dave. Carol. Samaya. So